All right, now that we have dealt with Clanker's situation, uh, he is now going to act as the main platform in this giant uh, lake of a level, in this giant trash heap. So anyway, let's go collect that reward that he gave to us. He's also going to be moving up and down, so it's a little bit difficult to collect notes and stuff on his back. You gotta, like, jump sometimes, sometimes you don't, sometimes it's just annoying and they move out of the way. I can't even get this jiggy. Give me the jiggy. Thank you. That is... that is, uh... Thank you. Okay, Buzz Clanker's teeth hurt now. Wow, what a whiny bastard. Would you like some cheese with that wine, man? Come on. Give me that note. Alright. 49 notes. That's kind of a sketch number. I feel like I missed a note somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well. If I did, so be it. Whatever. I'll just go back and get it later. Alright, so we got a grate right here. We're gonna need to bust this thing open, so just peck it a little bit. It's gonna open up very easily, give us another jiggy. So he's gonna swallow it, and uh, we can go collect notes, as well as that Momo token, just beware, you know. Um, if those guys in the tubes do hit you, they will push you off, that is the biggest annoyance. So you can just hit them very easily, get that you can poke them, and collect more notes. This is such a weird number, 59? God, man, I feel like I missed a note. Alright, so let's go around to Clanker's other side and see what is over on... Over on over there. There, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. So now, you know, this was the platform that we couldn't quite get on top of because it was too high out of the water. But now that we can't, or now we can because we use Clanker's fin as a platform. So we can use the shock jump pad and go to our right. We're going to be able to collect a few things over here. Some notes. One, two, three, four notes. Eggs, mumbo token, and drop on down. Nothing too special. I don't even think you get anything for going on that platform over there. Alright, make it over to the fin in time. And fly up. Alright, now this time we're going to go to the left. There's going to be another pole for us to climb. Lots of poles to climb, lots of pipes to go in, lots of hidden things in this level. I'm um, gonna go on a slam in here. I think this is Jinjo. Yep. And uh, don't slide down this slope. Make sure you have Kazooie. Because if you fall or if you slide, you will uh, drop right into there. But you don't want to do that. You want to go over here, hit this grating right in the middle, go down, and you'll get an empty honeycomb piece. And that's gonna give us another uh, honeycomb on our life bar. That's gonna be very nice. Um, so now, if you hear that noise, every once in a while you can hear, like, this clanking noise coming from Clanker. And that's the, uh, noise of this thing coming in and out of his back, out of his blowhole. I, I, th I thought he was a shark, but, um, uh, you know, whatever. I guess it works either way. Uh, do a little more platforming, a little more balancing acts by Banjo and Kazooie. Right here, just gonna adjust the camera, make my way along, making my way downtown, you know, like that, uh, who sang that song? I don't even know. Um, I'm not even gonna attempt to sing it because I don't want to. So there. I think we can go back down now, no big deal. Um, so Clanker said his teeth hurt. So I think we should probably go and do something about that. So you see these little platforms right here, and you can see he has two, or he has a, he has gold teeth right here. Um, you're gonna want to shoot out his teeth, uh, shoot a couple eggs at it, and usually it just falls out. That is, if you can just be patient and not dumb butt like me. There we go. So that's gonna shoot out one of his teeth. Yep. Clanker swallowed reward. Well, that's nice. Kind of disgusting. Why do I keep going in the first-person perspective? Oh, I missed again. Patience, young Padawan. There we go. 
now we can actually swim into the gap in the teeth to grab not only a mumbo token, but also a jiggy on the other side. And I just screwed that up because I was supposed to leave and then go back. Because I don't think you can get the jiggy. Or I don't think you can get both from inside of here. Oh, so I'm going to have to remember to get that now, aren't I? Nope, can't glitch my way up there. Great. Alright, so we are inside of Clanker right now. It's playing that really suspenseful music again. I don't even... I don't even know. But Clanker's also got a bunch of hoops in his belly. Not quite sure why. Uh, uh, whoa, don't yawn, man. Although he is a garbage grinder, so I do not question the number of things and the... You know, the strange things that he might have in his belly. Anyway, this hoop is green. The rest of them are kind of blue. So let's go. Let's go through this green one. All right. So we're gonna be uh, hit with a time challenge right here. We're gonna have to go through all this stuff in the amount of time that is given. Uh, it's really simple. Just uh, follow the path I'm going on right now. Nothing too hard about it at all. Um, you should be able to do this. You know, with plenty of time left. Oh, there's nothing hard. Just go through the green one first, and then, you know, continue on your merry frickin' way. And then, I think this is the last hoop, it's just a little tiny one in the water, and then we're done. And after doing that, water level's gonna raise, and it's gonna give us a jiggy. And, I like that. I like getting jiggies. It makes me feel, uh, makes me feel good about myself. Alright, Kazooie's gonna swallow that one again. We're gonna, uh, what are we gonna do? I think we gotta explore the two sides of Clanker. So we're gonna go down here. Uh, yeah. So there's notes on this side, and I think there's, a. I think it's just an exit. So there's, yeah, there's nothing special on this side. But let's turn around and, uh, go the other way really quickly. So, there is almost an identical exit on the other side. A little bit higher up as well. So let's go through here instead. See what it has to offer. So we're at 88 notes. Go down here and there should be a Jinjo getting protected by one of these little um uh, Oh, that was the last Jinjo too. What do you know? Yeah, getting protected by one of those little tentacle things. I guess that was the uh, last Jinjo. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize we were that far. Alright. Yeah, we're done with that. We're done with that, 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 that. Alright, so... Last place we have to enter is actually when... Clanker blows out his corkscrew. We're gonna drop down in here. Go in. There you go. Alright, there's a switch right here. We're gonna press that. We're gonna make... Grunty's eyes pop out. Nothing special. But it doesn't really look like we're going to be able to, uh... This place looks kind of sketch right here, doesn't it? Well, anyway, I think we can make it through. No big. Just got to be careful. Do some timed walking, I guess. Not really timed jumps, just walking. Carefully. Very carefully. Very carefully. I'm afraid I'm just going to get busted in the ass real soon here. Yeah, look at that! I just got busted in the ass. Called it. I mean, it's like so difficult to tell what's what because of the depth perception that goes on here. Alright, so we can continue straight on through. And, uh... Gonna get a flying pad here. Uh, I think we just fly through here. Nothing special. Yeah, we just gotta get to this side. This side of his belly. And I think... Is this... No, yeah, this is his tail. Technically, I think we're located at his tail right now. Anyway, let's talk to Bottles. This move uses Biko's wings as a shield against the bad guys. Cool. Does it make me invulnerable? It sure does. Hold the right or left trigger and push the right stick right. Keep the right or left trigger held and use the left stick to move around. Use it wisely though as it moves or as this move requires gold feathers. You can only carry ten of them. Here, take these five valuable gold feathers with you. Alright, so we get ten. Uh, my energy is a little low because I got hit by that piece of crap. 
You've learned all my new moves for this world. And oh. <gasps> whoa, whoa, why am I yawning? Oh, I know why I'm yawning. It's because I drank hot chocolate with warm milk, and warm milk makes me so tired, dude. I don't know about you guys, but dude, warm milk just puts me to frickin' sleep, dude. Like no other. I shouldn't have done that before I started recording. Alright, let's get back on through. Hopefully not getting hurt. I think technically you can get through here without, uh, gold feathers. I think I've seen it before. It's just really hard and you gotta time it right. Alright, so we're only missing, uh, we got a hundred, uh, we got a hundred notes. Nine out of ten jiggies, and we're only twenty minutes in, so I think we all know where that last jiggy is, too. It's the, uh, the stupid one that I completely skipped, like a dumb butt. So we'll get that on the way out, and then we'll be done with Clanker's Cavern completely. And, uh, I'll end off, this will probably be two episodes as well, won't it? Yeah, it probably will be. By the time I get out of here. Actually, this one. Did this... Wow, I didn't want to dive. Did this go shorter than, uh... Was this shorter than, uh, Treasure Trove Cove? Usually, Clanker's Cavern takes me a lot longer than Treasure Trove Cove. So that's pretty surprising. Well, if I keep doing this, it's gonna take longer. Quit acting like a nincompoop. Just go in. There we go. Alright, so that is the last Jiggy of the level. It's going to play that super nice celebratory music indicating that we've gotten all the Jiggies in the world. Done with that stuff. Gonna leave now. Nothing left for us to do. And as always, remember, if I miss any Mumbo Tokens, please tell me. Because I tend to forget stuff like that. Um, other than that, yeah, it looks like we're pretty much done with Clanker's Cavern. So, to get out of the world, obviously, like I said before, I'm gonna have to climb those, um, pipes again, go around and stuff, and then get out of the world that way. It is kind of a confusing exit, uh, not very straightforward at all. Most of the other exits are usually just, like, located on the ground. I kind of like the location of the exit on this one, to be completely honest. I like it a lot more. Because, it, you know, it makes you think about getting out. It also forces you to, like, get that Mumbo token that was right there. Anyway, yeah, okay, I'm gonna double check everything. I know we just viewed the totals, but, you know, out of habit. Good, we're done. So, after we have completed Clanker's Cavern, I think it would be a good place to stop, and in the next episode, we are going to continue on to Bubble Loop Swamp. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you... Oh, wait, just kidding. Uh, we opened up the, um, Grunty Switch, so we gotta go do that really quickly. Let's, um, let's get that jiggy before we end off the episode. Totally forgot about that, sorry. Go through here. And, uh, remember we popped out Grunty's eyes? Wow! I'm yawning again. Okay, all you gotta do is slam on him and get a free jiggy just because of that. Nothing special. Grab the jiggy, and now we'll end off the episode, I think, basically, exactly where we started the episode. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all later.